Peace and blessings, everyone. Welcome back to the Humble Servant Homestead. Today I am out here. Obviously, you all can see that I am standing right next to some okros, guys. Now, I believe I showed you all just a little bit of this okra here in the earlier stage when I was doing um, a garden update. So today I just want to come on in and talk a little bit more about these okros and you know pretty much the reason for planting them and you know what we're going to be doing with these okros here guys okay so we came on in in the early spring of course we start the okra seeds we soak them before we plant them of course guys you want to get real good germination out of your okra seeds soak them first before you plant them and that right there will do good for uh, your we okra came on in and we plant right at about 10 of these okra plants right here and pretty much we just leave them and let them go ahead and grow and grow 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 and so uh what we're seeing here is pretty much a cluster of okros now the variety of okra that we have here is the cow horn okra guys if you notice how they are growing now what they say out there is that even though these okra pods get so big, they supposed to still be very tender, guys. Now, these ones, they have lost their tenderness. But coming on up to right here and feeling this one right here, that feel real tender. Okay, so this one, I believe, would still be pretty good for cooking. And even this one right here sh still should be pretty tender. And that one feel tender as well. So look at that right there, guys. This is the okra that you can let sit on the okra plant, get to that size, and you get more okra when you let them sit for a longer period of time instead of harvesting them when they're that small. So this is uh, a variety of okra. What I've noticed with it, it don't grow really tall. Um, as you all can see, it is very short. But look at the production on the okra plant. And what I also went ahead and did, I spaced them out, give them enough space, guys, to where that I can let them go ahead and put on side shoots. That way we can get a little bit more okra. Now, if you notice, this is a side shoot here. And we have a real nice cluster of fruit up here, guys. So we will be getting quite a bit more fruits from off this side shoot right here. And also we have a, a second side shoot. Let me get this leaf out the way. As you all know, I did not come in and prune any of these okra. Like I said, guys, I just leave them and let them grow. So as you all can see, we have this side shoot and we still have a great uh, production on the side shoot. This one here feel, well, feel pretty soft up top right here feel like it's getting a little bit hard. So our okay. reason for growing this cow horn okra right here, guys, is pretty much for seeds, okay? Now, we will definitely come on out here and harvest some just so we can see what this uh, okra tastes like, what the flavor is like. And so, hey, that is that right there. So we definitely will be saving seeds out of them now, of course, you know, if you're going to be saving seeds, you don't want to pull them from the plant like this. We usually let them go ahead and get fit on the plant, dry back, and then we will come on in and harvest the seeds that way. Now, as far as uh, treatment or, or anything like this for these okros, I haven't really noticed uh, much bug issue here on these okra guys. They're pretty much, um, you know, taking care of themselves. We came on in, of course, in the beginning and amend the soil uh, with goat and chicken manure. And from there, they're pretty much, they're on their own, okay? Like I said, if you notice, I haven't even come on up here and prune off of these okros right here. So guys, um, with that storm that also came through here the other day, blow some of these okros down okay and so we just had to come on in prop them up and hey stand the buck upright so they can go ahead and grow 
like they should. Mm -hmm. All right. So, so far, the production from what I'm looking at on these okros is pretty good. We even have some plants back there that I don't know if you can see that the cluster look. Let me get that out of the way. Look at that back there, guys. So um, even though it is a short plant, ha, please believe production is good because if you notice, this is where production started. I guess once the plant was a bit shorter, this is where it started to put out its fruit. And as it goes and come on up here to the cluster. So remember, wherever you see this crown at on the okra plant and they have all this cluster right here, guys, that is where you will be getting more fruit from. So we don't mess with the, 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 the crown of the plant because this is where all the knowledge is, right? This is where we get all the fruit and we do need the fruit. That's what we need. So nonetheless, guys, I just wanted to come on in and give you all an update on the cow horn okra. Like I said, I didn't speak much about this okra plant right here, but today is that day. And so far from what I'm noticing and from what I'm um, experiencing from this plant, um, I think production is pretty good on it. I think it, it holds up in this Georgia heat. Of course, okra can withstand anything. Not too much water though. You don't want to saturate them with water, but nonetheless, heat don't mess with okros. So, but one of the thing is we will oftentimes say, oh, they will survive in the heat, but we're not watering them. If you're not watering those okra plant guys, you will kill them. Okay. Just like if I go out and stand out in the sun all day and I don't drink any water, what happened? I will catch a heat stroke. So make sure you give your plant adequate amount of water. Oh, look at that. Ah, come here, little fella. Try my best not to hurt him. Do you know what that is, guys? So what I'm going to go ahead and do, drop a link down in the comment box drop below. A comment. a comment down in the box below. And let me know what this little fella is right here. Trying to get him. You try yeah. to get him? Yeah. Well, I need you I to get him. You got him? Yeah, I think Okay, so. so let me know what that little fellow is right there. Um, I know somebody out there know, I won't tell you what it is. I'm going to let you guess and tell me what that is right there. But nonetheless, guys, that is pretty much it right there. I just wanted to come on in and just share this with you all to just, hey, stay tuned for our seed store. We will be sharing some of these seeds in our store to you guys so y'all can grow your very own and also experience what's biting me something biting me was it the okra poking uh, okay let me see that's that's probably what no that's not what it is something biting me. either biting me or irritating me something is going on but that's beside the point okay guys so i just wanted to say thanks to each and every one of you all out there for stopping by the humble servant homestead and as always Peace and blessings to each and every one of you all out there. Remember, keep a smile on your face. You be happy, you be blessed, and you be cheerful. And I will catch you in the next one.